The two of you are obviously extremely talented. How did you do in school? <laughs> well, you don't want to talk to our moms. No, <laughs> you know, in fact, uh, our moms would laugh if they were here because they, they remember how we worked all too well. In fact, both of us struggled all through school. Yeah, like you said, your report card said, what was your second grade report card that your mother gave you just a few years ago? Um, it, well, everything now that I get paid to do, I got in trouble for in school, basically. Yeah. Um, it's kind of funny, but um, no, but my report card said that I lacked attention. I, I lacked uh, self-control. I wasn't disciplined, but the, but the end of it is great. I mean, what she said, you know, she said all these negative things, and then she said, but Mary is a happy, uninhibited child. <laughs> So, and Darcy, what about you? Um, school for me was really difficult. I was held back in the second grade. Uh, I had a private tutor and basically I, I had a lot of trouble learning how to read. And well, I would like to share this story, how I had one teacher, um, in particular in the sixth grade. Just one? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one teacher that really, she wrote something on my report card that said, uh, I see that Darcy struggles in school. Mm -hmm but I see in her a strong leader. Wow. And do you know I read that and I read that again and I do believe one of the lessons that we cover in the DVD talks about the words of our mouth and that there's life or death in the power of the tongue and you as sure. parents, you as teachers have the ability to speak life into your children or to speak death. And That's right. In fact we have a song that's called Zip It Up yeah. that talks exactly about that because how many times have we said something that we wish we could take back Puppets are a big part of the DVD. Why do you think that works with children? Well, what we know about puppets, um, Mary and I have discovered, that they are the second leading teaching tool in the world for all ages. And what's the number one? The number one is media, DVD, <laughs> music. Okay, music. you win. <laughs> okay. Um, but <laughs> puppets are the second leading teaching tool in the world, but the most underused. It is. And so, one of the things I like to do personally is to teach the person that never dreamed that they would use a puppet and make it easy for them, but teach life skills through that puppet. But uh, in the DVD, what happens, we make it safe for the children to listen because we're teaching the character. Where did you come up with the concept, Puppets with a Heart? After doing puppets for probably about 12 years, I realized how hard it was to come up with a, a new topic or something to share. And I actually told the Lord, I am really done with puppets. I don't want to do this anymore. And as soon as I laid it down and said, I quit, um, the Lord truly gave me a vision in my mind of putting a heart inside the puppet. And I thought, mm. and so then I, all of a sudden, when I, I went back to my sewing machine, I made this giant heart with a zipper in it. I started to think of all the things I could put in the puppet's heart. And uh, as soon as I did that, it became endless. Let me get Scruffy out. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, this is Scruffy. Actually, Scruffy is one of my most popular puppets, mm -hmm. believe it or not, Kimberly. Because, you know, uh, about 90% of the world has a dog. Yeah, about 80% other... of my kids have yeah. a dog. The other 20% want, want one. Want one. <laughs> yes. And, and Scruffy here, you know, people make puppetry complicated, and I want to keep it really simple. Um, I don't use a stage with Scruffy. I don't give him a voice. Um, was that? That's right. If I don't give you a voice, more than one teacher can use the same puppet. Well, what was Scruffy? You want you want Mary to check your heart. He likes okay. he likes me. Well, hold your hand out, Mary. Let's okay. see if you. Scruffy likes to sniff the hand uh, to make sure that the hand is clean. Is her hand clean, Scruffy? Uh, so so. Just so, so. I okay. washed. Well, let's go ahead and check his hand, his heart. All the puppets. Check, check his heart. Yeah, all the puppets I make and design, they all have a heart. And they come with about a hundred object lessons. Oh, Scruffy! The, you, there's a measuring tape. Yeah, there's a tape measure in your heart. Why is that? What? R really? Sometimes you feel like you don't measure up. You know. <laughs> and what I would say to all of us, many times, kids, we feel like, and, and parents and teachers, we feel like we're not going to measure up and do it as well as everybody else. So what I do with the puppets is. Sometimes he has a song in his heart. Sometimes he has a scripture in his heart. And many times he has an object lesson inside of his heart to explain the scripture or how we're feeling inside the heart. So this is Scruffy. 
<laughs> put him away. Mary, I've heard you've written over 400 songs. Is there anything recent that you've written that you can share with us? There is. Um, I have a song that um, it really sums up um, where Darcy and I have been with, with this whole venture. Um, and it says that, you know, whatever, whatever we're going through, that God will make a way for us to get through what seems impossible. I just happened to have my guitar here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hit you, did I? No. Okay. <laughs> God made a way for you. What seems impossible to get through, God made a way for you. What seems impossible. 